So you're thinking about moving to Tucson, Arizona and you're not sure where to start? Well, stick around, because in today's video, we're gonna show you around what's considered Tucson's west side, show you some things to do in the area, talk about some things to check out, and of course, show you some homes in some different neighborhoods at different price points so you can see what might best fit in your budget. Let's get to it. If you're new to this channel and want to learn everything from A to Z about living in Tucson AZ, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Dustin Smith. My wife, Jennifer, and I have helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, or 12 months, give us a call, shoot us a text or an email so we can help you make a smooth move. Let's go. All right. So generally when we're talking about Tucson's west side, we're talking about an area that is west of I-10, pretty much across from uh, downtown Tucson, uh, that goes up to the Tucson mountains and pretty much as far north as Marana. In fact, there's like an overlap between what's considered, you know, west Tucson and Marana. Uh, so you might see areas that look familiar if, you're, if you've seen our Marana video because, you know, Marana being a municipality and, and west Tucson kind of just being an area of real estate that we, we generically refer to in the Tucson area. Um, so lots of things to do in Tucson's west side. I mean, we're really close proximity to downtown Tucson. Looking at that, that's probably a four or five minute drive from here. It looks a little bit further away in the video than it is actually in person. Um, you've got great hiking trails in the Tucson mountains. Uh, you're about 15 to 20 minutes away from the Sonoran Desert Museum, depending on where you're at. That is a fun spot to check. If you're visiting in Tucson in general, it doesn't matter what spot of town you're in. Um, you go up there, they have great wildlife exhibits. They have great you know, insects. Um, in insect displays, rattlesnake displays. Um, they have an indoor aquarium, some different indoor stuff. So even if you're here in the summer, it's still a cool spot to check out. So, oh, they even have a, uh, like a walkthrough man-made cave with, that has some great exhibits in there too, a little cool spot to hang out. So definitely an awesome spot to, to check out just visiting Tucson in general. Um, since it, you know, West Tucson pretty much goes up to the Marana area, uh, we're pretty close to the most southern part of what's considered West Tucson right here. Uh, and as you approach Marana, you get more and more stuff to do. So uh, Marana has been definitely building up like a lot over the last like 10, 15 years. So you've got a lot of shopping over there. Uh, you've got Top Golf. There's even um, skydiving in Marana. Uh, if you enjoyed doing something like that to get a little more thrills and then all the hiking and stuff too. You got a lot of hiking here and it's pretty much just easy commute uh, to most spots within Tucson as well. And if you, uh, if you are going to be like commuting up to Phoenix, I know a lot of people that look in the Tucson area, uh, they have family in Phoenix, but they don't necessarily want to live up there for one reason or another. Um, West Tucson up to Marana is like, probably one of the shortest drives you're gonna get out of um, the Tucson area to go up to Phoenix. I mean, you're pretty close to the interstate along all of West Tucson, and then you skip you skip a large chunk of the interstate where a lot of the, uh, like the backups and the slowdowns happen. All right, so the first neighborhood we're checking out today is Ironwood in Tucson's west side. So this is a pretty little neighborhood over here. Track home subdivision, homes on like about um, a tenth of an acre up to um, about 0.2 acres. So they vary, you know, depending on what's part of, part of the subdivision or if you're in a cul-de-sac lot right here. Very close to grocery shopping. In fact, on the other side of this home for sale right now uh, is a shopping plaza. So you've got less than five minutes to get to a grocery store right there. 
Um, you wouldn't think about this too much in this development, but there are some areas of it that actually have mountain views as far as the Rincons and even the Catalinas. So if you're looking off to the east, there's not a lot of obstructions out that direction. Uh, and if you're in certain parts of the development, um, I mean, not this one because there's actually buildings right over there, um, you will actually have some views over to the much closer Tucson mountain ranges as well. Uh, so HOA fee here is like 30 bucks a month. So, you know, not bad. Going to take care of some common area maintenance, architectural review, uh, just, you know, basic things like that. Make sure that people are, you know, taking care of their homes, not leaving junk cars in the front yard, you know, things of that nature. Um, home for sale right here, of course, three bedroom, two bath. 1176 square foot on 0.13 acres currently listed at three hundred and fifty thousand dollars you know it's a pretty solid home clean paint inside outside looks like it's been taken care of and has newer appliances throughout the development we do have um, homes in here that start off around 340 and get pretty close to 400 as well so i hope you guys liked ironwood uh, let's keep moving let's go check out some more So for our second neighborhood of the day, we're over here in West Bridge. So this is a new home development. We like to show you new home developments every once in a while because in some cases, they're actually coming out very competitive with the resale market. Now this home behind me listed at 473,000 is a two bedroom and two bath, but it's 1,815 square foot and it's on 0.16 acres. So of course, you know, big benefit with new construction is everything within it is new. So you have those you know, basic bumper to bumper um, builder warranties for year one. And some of those builder warranties actually stretch out to like 10 years. And it can be different from builder to builder, uh, which brings me to another point. Um, even when you're talking to like a new home construction site, it's always best to be represented by an agent. So even if you're not working with us, I definitely meant, recommend reaching out to a real estate agent uh, that is familiar with new build construction because there's just you know some tips and tricks that we can help you uh, through the building process and even after closing uh, to make sure that you're covered by those warranties and that you can most easily utilize them and help you with the negotiation of course on those and you know, best part of that is um, you don't pay anything extra to be represented by an agent in almost every case out there um, with few exceptions. The builder is actually going to pay real estate agents, um, even though they're representing you. And if you go directly to the builder, of course, you know, um, their sales team is strictly representing the builder and it kind of changes the dynamic um, of things as far as customer service goes. A lot of those people are absolutely great to work with. But, you know, I definitely recommend finding somebody who is an advocate um, just for you and your side of the transaction. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked Westbridge. Uh, let's keep moving. Let's go check out a couple more houses. The last neighborhood we're showing you today is Rancho del Cerro. So Rancho del Cerro, um, in fact, this gem right here has no HOA. Uh, these are basically gonna be custom homes throughout here. We got these rolling hills in the area and tons and tons of Saguaros. 
Uh, so we're basically adjacent to the Sororo National Park West Monument. We've got mountain views out towards the Catalinas, um, or we've got the uh, Tucson mountain views in different areas. I, I mean, just absolutely stunning right here. You've got a lot of desert, so you're gonna get the things that come with the desert. You're gonna get the critters, javelinas, coyotes. I wouldn't be surprised if you see some deer in the area too. Uh, things are a little more spread out right here. Lots of washes and stuff for those, uh, those larger animals to go through. Um, this beautiful home right here is currently listed at 545,000. And one of the major, well, probably one of the only drawbacks about this home right here um, is the road that passes through here. It can create a little bit of noise. So you might hear that as we progress um, through the explanation of this home right here. Uh, but this home is 2,061 square foot. It has a 500 square foot guest house included on that with one bedroom, one bathroom of its own. So a total of four bedrooms and three bathrooms on this home. Um, so, I mean, just looking at it, you can tell it's got fresh paint on it. Uh, may not be able to tell through the video right here, but that roof looks like it's been replaced in the last couple years. Uh, looks like it's in gorgeous shape. Um, we do have some hills that go down behind the house. So you're a little bit elevated from everything behind you. Uh, and that gives you some beautiful views. I mean. Let's see if we can walk over here real quick and kind of get an idea. I mean, you're, you're not really going to get the city views from right here, but you have some beautiful custom homes on the hills um, to, the, uh, to the east of here. So yeah, definitely, definitely gorgeous. I'm, I don't think there's really anything else in the five to six hundred thousand uh, dollar price range in the area that has all that to offer for it. Uh, one of my personal favorites, you know, I like that stuff. I did want to show you guys one over in Del Cerro Estates up the road over here. Uh, but unfortunately, house winner contract over there was priced at 695,000. Um, and it was about 600 square foot larger than this one, listed at 695,000 instead of, you know, the 1985 home right here, it was 1981. But you're a little bit further from the road. Um, you got different views over there and of course different updates, especially when you go back to the 80s with these custom homes. They've changed hands a few times. They were already custom to begin with, so things are so vastly different over there. So yeah, hope you guys liked this neighborhood. Uh, stick with me. I did want to show you something fun to do if you're in Tucson's west side and you like hiking. So let's go. All right guys, so I wanted to wrap up with something special today. So behind me is Tumamak Hill. So. A lot of people on the west side enjoy this for nothing else but to get some good exercise and some good views. Um, I'll tell you, the trail is nice and well maintained like this all the way to the top. Uh, we've actually pushed double strollers up this a couple times, getting the kids up there. You know, really gets in a good uh, workout right there. I'll tell you, it's not easy pushing that double stroller, but the trail allows for it. Um, and every time I've gone up there, I've actually seen deer on the way up there too. So pretty neat being this close to the city, but still getting in those hills and, and having the ability to see some wildlife. So yeah, if you're, uh, if you're up for a challenging and rewarding hike, check out Tumamok. There's an old abandoned observatory out there. When you get to the top, you've got just absolutely stunning views of downtown Tucson. Um, so there's, you can do it in the evening if you want. Uh, the trail is supposed to be open until about 10 p.m. Um, you're definitely going to run into a lot of other hikers up here. It is quite busy, so keep that in mind. And um, as always, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button, click subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications to be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. And if you or someone you know is thinking about moving to or from Tucson, give us a call, shoot us a text or email so we can help you make a smooth move. If you've got something to tell us about Tucson's West Side, or uh, if you have questions, let us know in the comments. Um, and of course, our contact information is in the description below. Thank you guys. See you on the next video.